Chris Sol here, and today you join me on World of Warcraft Live, and we're in pre-patch once again. And today I wanted to give you guys a small little look at what I, what talents I'm running on my Arms Warrior, and what my main thoughts on the spec are, and how it's changed a little bit. So, in Warlords, um, you did sort of uh, have the same playstyle in regards to you wanted to keep your Colossal Smash up for as long as possible. Um, and then use your damage in between that. So, I mean, your Mortal Strike and then your Execute procs. Now, they have changed some abilities, such as we've lost Recklessness. We've also lost Rallying Cry. Well, they've sort of reworked them a little bit, which I'll go over in... Excuse me. I'll go over in a little bit. Uh, but we're just going to quickly get to go over some of the new stuff we got, which is really, really cool. Slam is now baseline, which is lovely. Really, really good back. We have a lot more single target damage. Uh, Overpower is now a talent. Uh, these are the talents I'm running with at the moment. We're going to quickly go down them and then I'll quickly go into um, some of the changes on some of the abilities and what they do. So, on the first tier, we have da Dauntless. Dauntless, I think that's pronounced. Uh, your abilities cost 20% 20, uh, 20 less rage. This is going to be okay. Um, I really, really like Overpower, though. Overpower uh, costs 10 rage. Mini round requires a mini weapon. Overpower is causing your target for 30,000 damage. And it cannot be blocked, parried, or dodged. Has a 6% chance to increase critical strike. Or, uh, so, the main reason why Overpower is the strongest on this tier, I would say, for single target damage, of course, this is my single target build at the moment. There is also an AoE build, which I'll go over in a moment. Um, you would sometimes, in some scenarios, change out Shockwave with Stormbolt. But I'll go over that in the next tier. But the reason why Overpower is so strong is it cannot be blocked, dodged, or parried. This means if a rogue pops his dodge ability, which I've forgotten the name of, but I'll hopefully link it in the description below or put it on screen now if i remember and it is uh it's not going to be dodged so basically you just be you'll always be able to hit your overpower and you also can get procs off them now sweeping strikes is still good um uh, mortal strike and your executes hit two nearby targets as well now especially how um focused rage works that would be really really good for i think rbgs with blazestorm because blazestorm does a lot more damage as well but we'll go over that and i'm going to put some bg footage i'm going to be doing some bg videos in the next couple of days uh and into next week as well so if you would like to see those let me know in the comment section below and anyway, moving on to the level 30 tier now there's only really two options that i can see here uh it depends on really the scenario you're in if you're either in an aoe scenario where there's going to be lots of cluster people or you're against a double melee in arena you still want to take shockwave because it is still going to be really really good they haven't really changed it still does damage still does a frontal cone and stuns the target uh stuns the target that it hits uh stormbolt again the same uh hurts your weapon and stuns for four seconds this is the same but this is more a single target at focus macro so if you're against say casters and you want to close range then that'd be really really good i don't really think that you are reduce the cooldown by three seconds I mean, double time might be good, but you're kind of switching out, like, two of your main stuns for it. So, I don't think it's going to be that good, even though you do get two charges. But if charge actually interrupted spell casting, then I think that should be really, really powerful. But it doesn't, because it just roots the target because you don't have Warbringer anymore, which is really, really sad. Okay, so moving on, we have Frenzy of the Battle. Uh, Whirlwind deals 30% more damage to your primary target. Rend and Avatar. Now, for single target build, I would say for more burst damage, you want Avatar. It's a one minute and a half cooldown, and you get 20% extra damage and removes all Roots and Snares effects. And that means you can Avatar Blaze Storm again, which is glorious. But for RBGs and scenarios where you want more bleed damage and you want more consistent damage in your team, to so say we were playing uh, Warlock, Warrior, Shaman, for example, you want to last the end game, I would say possibly you could run Avatar if you want some more burst damage to get a kill. Or you could have an argument for just having the wound damage of Rend mixed with uh, Opportunity Strikes. Uh, just as just bleed damage purely, uh, which is really, really good. Okay, so we're going to move on to the defensive tier, which is level 60. Um, I would personally say defensive stance is really, really powerful. And I'll go over why this is really, really good in a minute. But also, um, I think... This is going to be really, really good as well because it reduces the corner of heroic leap and also gives you that little speed increase. But I don't think it's going to be as good as defensive stance because defensive stance gives you that flat out 20% decrease in the damage you take. But let's read carefully about this ability because they've changed it a little bit. All the damage you deal is also reduced by 10%. Now, what does this mean? This means warriors are now going to have to 
actually stand stance when they want to do damage. So at the moment, you may see on my bells down here, I have K bound to my defensive stance. Now, when I go into defensive stance, one, I get some lovely shields around me, which is lovely. And But this will stay. And as you can see, there is a larger cooldown of 10 seconds between me changing stances. So I need to make sure I'm in the right stance. And if I burst in this stance, I will do 10% less damage than, say, I was in battle stance. You are in battle stance by default if you don't take... Uh, defensive stance, you are in battle stance. There is no such thing as berserker stance, I believe, or whatever the Fury one was called. Uh, second wind, I think, could be good. Um, I looked at this on the beta a little bit, and I thought this could be good, but I think it's going to be too situational to actually matter. Um, and the more I've played it, I think that uh, defensive stance is going to be really, really good because you can really stance stance and really abuse the fact of that 20%. Uh, so when you need to go defensive, you can. Um, now, there's some debate here. Well, guys, sorry, I'm back. Um, I'll probably cut out that little sneezing fit I had. I just decided I wanted to sneeze twice. So, yay! Uh, but Focus Rage, we're going to be going over next. So, your Focus Rage, you basically can... This costs 15 Rage. You can stack it up to three times, and it increases your Mortal Strike damage that is not affected by Global Cooldown. So, what does this mean? Uh, you set this up in the start of your burst, okay? This means you are going to hit 150% harder with your Mortal Strike. Now, this is on top of the already going to be 74% for 8 seconds that your Colossal Smash gives you. So technically you're hitting for, if my mass is correct, 234% extra damage on your Mortal Strike. Now, I'm not I'm not a genius, but Mortal Strike already hits with 28k. Now, 200% of that, so what, that's I'd like plus 100 and something, like 50, 50, 60k. That's already 50, 60k alone. So that, plus some of the cooldowns I'll go over in a minute, plus Avatar and uh, Battle Cry, uh, Battle Rage, which is the recklessness, um, will make you do a lot of damage. Now, I'm not 100% sure how fast you'll be able to stack this, because if you have 100 Rage, obviously you can do it multiple times. So maybe the burst rotation will be, get 100 Rage, use your Colossal Smash, stack up, one st what, up to three stacks of Focus Rage before you burst, then Colossal Smash, unload a Mortal Strike, Stack up again, unload another Mortal Strike, and then so on, and then get a kill. I'm not really 100% sure what the rotation is going to be on that. Also, maybe Mortal Combo will be better, because it gives you two charges of Mortal Strike. So you can instantly pop burst, colossal smash, stun, double Mortal Strike, into overpower, slam, and dump the rest of your rage on damage. Okay, so this is going to have to come down to testing and seeing how more we play into the game. Um, also, uh, I'm not really too sure about in the kill. It could be good in some scenarios, but I think that because of the other two talents being here, I think most most warriors and most cases you want to take focus rage, and then in uh, nearly every other case you will want mortal co uh, mortal combo, uh, just because they're the only two really viable, uh, extremely powerful abilities on level 75. Okay, so we're going to be moving on to the level 90 talent tree. I've taken uh, Deadly Calm. Now, Battle Rage has now reduced the rage cost of all your abilities by 100%. This is really, really good. Because what happens is, you gain critical... Okay, basically what Battle Cry is, is it's recklessness with a shorter cooldown. And it lasts for a shorter time. So I think what they were, I think what Blizzard were trying to do when they put Warriors on the table, they were like, okay, well, we want to give them burst damage, but they want to give, uh, I think the game they want to make fast paced because what I've been seeing as I've been talking to people who've been playing P Patch through the guild on last night and so on, is they want to give burst shorter cooldowns. So, but it does less. The burst itself does less, but you can use the burst more often. So, with that being said, it means you can start, like, for example, with the whole few uh, focus rage thing. You will actually want to stack up that before you burst every time. And you will want to get 100 rage before you burst. So you can stack up that and hit harder with your mortal strikes. Now, personally, I would say this is a kind of a no-brainer. I did try out uh, this one. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. If you want to try and pronounce that name, then let me know. Um, I think this will be good for RBGs. Um, because it will give you more spread pressure. Um, with just bleeds. Uh, if you're going to be going bleed spec, I would say go rend and this and then a period of strikes, which I'll go over in a minute. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be more RBG spec, but for actual burst spec, I would say Deadly Khan's better. Um, I looked at this. This, I don't think is worth it because 
you get your Colossal Smash back most of the time anyway, so it's not really that much. You don't really want it to last the extra 16 seconds because you don't actually get more damage. All you really want is that you want it to last the 8 seconds because in that 8 seconds you're going to do... Um, you know, you, it doesn't really matter because all you're going to get from that, really, is one whole Battle Cry anyway, and then maybe three Mortal Strikes. So... With that being said, you know, it's going to work out better. You do more damage for you if you end up doing that because then you can get another Colossal Smash off with your avatar as well. You get two Colossal Smashes in one avatar, which is really, really powerful um, if you can play it right. So, yeah, there's that. So, we're going to be moving on to Anger Management. Every 10 Rage you spend reduces the cooldown of your Battle Cry by one second. Now, this is really, 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 really good because... Battle Cry already is on a one minute cooldown, okay? So say you're spending 100 rage every 30 seconds. That's going to put it down to something like a 50 to 40 second cooldown, possibly up to a 30 second cooldown on your Battle Cry. Now, there's a similar thing on DKs, which I'll go over when I go over DKs. But, my God, this gives you burst uh, like a lot of the time. And this is what, this comes back to the same point I wanted that I've, I've been seeing from Legion is... There is a lot of these kind of things where you should have burst up more often, but it does slightly less. Now, granted, the damage is going to seem like it's a lot more because we are these all of these changes are scaled for when we were level 110. That, but the health pool isn't 110 yet. So, uh, Shadow Priest do tons of damage right now. Uh, Boom Kids do tons of damage right now. Um, Druids are just insane um, right now, anyway, because Resto Druids can go into Guardian. Um, they have like a second half talent where they get some of the abilities. I forgot what it's called. I'll go over it when I can do Druid. But yeah, we're going to move on a little bit here because I'm getting slightly off topic and talk about Druids. But anyway, uh, I'll do a more generalistic video uh, when I've done all these class like looks at and stuff. So, uh, I'm assuming it strikes. Now, this I think is going to be really, really good in an AoE situation because what you're going to do... Thank you, phone. Thank you so much. Uh, what are you going to be doing is we're going to be basically really, really heavy on bleeds because what you're going to do is you're going to talent in here. Shut up, phone. And you're going to really, really talent here like this. You're going to talent in these rows here and then probably even sweeping strikes to be fair. Um, anything else? Yeah, I think we'll keep... This is probably going to be your AoE spec. I mean, I'm just going to quickly jump back to my other spec because I'm probably going to be doing stuff later on it. But that's going to be really, really powerful for RPGs because it just gives you so much more bleed pressure. And you're not really there, I don't think. I think well, I think Warriors especially will be taken for the... Uh, we have an Honor System talent which basically gives our battle guide to someone else. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, no. 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 I don't know, I don't know what it's called, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, here we are. Pain time. Reduces the cooldown of your battle cry by 15 seconds. Battle cry now affects all nearby party members within 10, 10 yards. This is going to be disgusting. That is why you'll be taking an RBGs, especially if you're doing a tons of bleed damage. Um, and you can still do a lot of burst damage as well. Now, Blade Storm itself, I think the damage has been buffed a lot because it does do a lot of damage. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, I'm gonna try and cut it down a little bit, but I wanted to sort of talk to you guys about what I think of Arm Warriors. I'm gonna be doing Enhancement Shaman and Shadow Priest as well in the next couple of days. And then I might delve into stuff I don't really know too much more about, um, when I sort of research them a little bit more, such as DK Druid and Rogue. And thank you, email. It's everything is going off right now. But thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video and you are new to the channel, make sure to be subscribed. Link just below. And also, make sure to check out the two videos on the end cards because I'm working really, really hard on the channel. And, uh, I would love to see if you would like to stay. And if you're enjoying the videos, feel free to let me know. Also, 1060 comes tomorrow at the time of recording this. Today's Thursday. Uh, this video comes out Friday. So by the time you're seeing this video, I will have a 1070. Uh, if you want to be notified on what's going on with me, make sure to check out my Twitter. It's linked in the description below. And it's also on the edge of the webcam. I think it's this side. Um, it's at the shuttle or one if you're curious. Thank you guys for watching once again. And I will see you guys next time. And I hope you have a wonderful if you guys missed yesterday's video, then make sure you hit the right link. If you'd like to see my overview of the appearance tab coming in this patch as well, then make sure you hit the left link, and I'll see you guys next time. Farewell.